Hello and welcome, my name is Parky, and today we're playing some more Spore. You'll meet me back where last time we spent loads and loads of money that I'd accumulated on getting those endgame weapons. We tried most of them out, these Ionic Singularity missiles, which were actually pretty good, I will admit. The SSD flat cannon, which throws bits of scrap out of your ship. Quite good at destroying other spaceships, but not so good at ground targets. And we've also got the good old nuclear death cloud, which doesn't really do anything. And the nuclear chain gun. A lot of nuclear things at the moment, basically. We've obviously up upgraded our spaceship, we've fitted it with a nuclear reactor, and is powering all of our weapon systems. But one of the major things that I bought was the 30 million Zionic Omega device, which I didn't actually use, because mostly I thought it was a weapon, so I thought it would appear in here, but apparently it's under terraforming, I believe, which is here. Yeah, look at this, a Zionic Omega device. This is what you get when you add extra Zionium to XSM. Okay, so I assume that this is the, obviously the sort of alternative to the Staff of Life. I'm gonna guess, anyway. I mean, considering it has like a weapon symbol, I would assume that it's probably going to destroy the Terra score of the planet instantly. Either way, let's go and try it out. I'm going to try it on an uninhabited world first, and then if we find somewhere that we don't like... This is T0, not very helpful. Both these are T0. There's actually something on that planet, but I can't be bothered to go and look at it. We'll go for this planet here, because it's got nice plant life on it. Like nice creatures and everything else. T1, not the best planet to try this out on. Maybe we we'll go for a T3 in a minute. Let's just see what this even does and how long it takes. Okay, so I would assume that this is just going to drag it into T0. Oh, holy shit. Oh god, yeah, look at that. Blimey. So that's basically created a massive crater in the ground. And it's also now just dragging it out massively. And look, we can just keep using it, like, indefinitely. Well, that's actually kind of ridiculous then, isn't it? If we can just keep doing this until it destroys the atmosphere. And it creates a lot of noise. And apparently a lot of water as well. <laughs> and light. I can't really see what's going on anymore. Oh my god. Well, I feel sorry for the... <laughs> the plant life and the animal life on this planet no longer going to be a thing shortly. Is this actually destroying the food web? Why are there just random gaps in here? I don't know. It doesn't seem to be dragging it out of T1 very quickly, does it? Maybe I'm just supposed to, like, spam this. I might make the game crash if I do this, though. Oh, God, the lag. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, you could almost turn an entire planet into water, couldn't you? Is this all it does, then? Is it literally just creating water on the planet? I am so confused. I think the next thing to do would be to go to a TerraScore 3 planet, like a home planet of some kind. Oh god, why is there so much camera shake? What is happening, game? Calm down. It's okay, I, I know I'm using these big scary weapons, but you don't have to be so terrified. But yeah, I think we should go on a TerraScore 3 planet, so if we can find an enemy of the state... Enemy of the state! <laughs> What am I talking about? Okay, well, none of these guys are particularly small. I'd like to go for a nation that doesn't really pose that much threat. Especially if we're just literally going to fire a single shot at them. The Grox are attacking planet Jonas. Where is that? Oh, that's over here. It's one of our planets. How dare you! We haven't actually fought off a Grox attack for so long. We've been over by the Earth uh, Empire, which means that I've sort of not been taking in what's happening around me. I suppose this means that we can try out our new weapons. I must remember not to use the Zionic Omega device in my atmosphere, because it's going to wreck everything. Okay, where are you, you bastards? Oh god, that is not a weapon to be using right now. That is a terrible idea. Maybe we could go for the, the flat cannon. Seems like a good one. Yeah, oh god. Jesus Christ. Okay, we've got to be really careful that we don't hit our own people. Okay, so a couple of hits with this flat cannon, and it should be dead. These Grox ships aren't really much of a big deal for us now. I mean, they're a bit of a nuisance more than anything. We can take out all the little ones in one big group like this. But then these big ships, we can just hit like once, and then they're dead. Look at this. I'm actually doing well at defending our planets. Unfortunately, there are a lot of Grox ships over here, which is making it slightly difficult for us. I just really don't want to hit my city accidentally, because I think that would be really dreadful. That would be a really bad day, wouldn't it? Looks like they've actually managed to destroy quite a few of my buildings, unfortunately. There's not much we can do about it. I'm just going to have to go for these smaller ships first, then the bigger ones, and hopefully they won't do too much damage to the rest of my cities. Okay, there we go. I think that's pretty much all of them. Oh no, there's one over here by this other city. They're probably trying to flee. I would be trying to flee if I was them. I'd be terrified. Oh no, here he is. You shouldn't have hung around, you bastards. They actually almost killed me. That's very depressing. 
I think one of the things I would have liked to have seen in this mod pack, maybe there are in other mod packs that you can get on score, on Spore, on Score. Oh god, my brain. Um, is maybe some sort of expansion to the health. Because it doesn't seem like 5,000 health is ever really enough. I know you get like a shield and things in this game, which obviously make you immune for a certain amount of time. But at the same time, I don't really think that's enough protection for it's something that lasts 30 seconds to really get anything done. I mean, you think it probably takes about 30 seconds to wipe out a city. Mostly because the... Oh god, is this fire coming from our ship? Oh yeah, look at this. This is not a good time, is it? Let's speak to these people quickly. I didn't know. What we're going to do is we're going to leave the atmosphere here. Picked up a bit of their money, which is always going to be moderately helpful. And then we're going to fly over to this other colony that I have on this planet. We're going to repair up with these guys. Because it'll, they're not busy trying to recreate their civilization. Keep everyone calm. So here we go. Let's sell all this stuff. And of course, one of the things that I said that I was going to do was to actually get the Safari Park, the Wildlife Sanctuary, which requires the Eco Hero 3. There's only so much progress that we can actually make towards this, seeing as we have to just hang around until there is an eco disaster. We only need two more eco disasters prevented, though, so it's not going to be that much of a big deal if we just keep an eye on this up here. And you know, I, this whole time, I've not completed this mission. I feel as though I need to do this mission at some point, so let's just do it, shall we? Okay, so one of them is over here in Planet Kusha. So let's get this sorted. I can't believe I've had this quest since I got into Space Station. I've not done it. What is wrong with me? I'm such a completionist, yet I don't complete the one quest I have. I've actually just noticed that the main creature on this planet is called a cage. It's the Nicholas Cage planet. Oh my god. They look pretty... I, you know what? The resemblance is actually astounding. They look exactly like Nicholas Cage. On a good day. <laughs> On a good day, he does look like a spider creature, of course. So let's pick this up. It's a gnome artifact, I believe. I can't believe we've not done this yet. That is so stupid and such a typical Parky thing to do, isn't it? What are you doing, Parky? You have no life. Okay, so that's one of the planets taken care of. It looks like there's another one over here, I think. Kyling? Is that one of them? Kyling. Yes, it is. Fantastic. It's not that difficult to find then. Kyling. Now, this does actually have an empire here already. Might be a bit of a problem when we try and steal an artifact from them. I don't know whether this is going to upset them, me taking this. It probably will. Because literally anything in this game upsets everyone. There we go. Has that done anything? It doesn't look like it. The Gooplet Empire is so happy with us. I don't even remember who half these people are. I've not interacted with any of the empires around our home planet for so long. I just can't remember. Okay, so let's go and find this third one. Unless there's actually a fourth one. Oh no, that's fine. So Planet Galen. I think that's probably... Is this the last one? Where is it? Kusha Pyledi? Pyledi. Yes, here we go. So this is the final gnome artifact. I mean, this wasn't even a difficult quest, was it? Let's be honest. I'm just too lazy. I got too excited with finding the centre of the galaxy and all the other stuff. Think of all the stuff we've achieved in this series. This is the most comprehensive and lengthy Spore series I've done. It's the most space stage I think I've ever done. I think the most I've ever done before is actually just getting to the centre of the galaxy and that's it. So having played beyond that is pretty crazy. I think it's almost an impossible task to go and fight the Grox. So I'm going to assume that maybe you can't do that. <laughs> okay, I think we need to deliver this to planet Galen. Let's go and speak to these people really quick. Hi there. Welcome, omnipotent Modivore. We were told that you're bringing three gnome artifacts to our planet, is that correct? Yes, I've come with a delivery. You have a fantastic hat, by the way. Greetings and salutations. Yes, you've bought all the gnome artifacts and the paperwork appears to be in order. Thank you. You should now return to the Minor Empire in the Ar Arepis system for payment. I'd like to ask you something else. Let's trade. Yeah, you can have all this yellow spice that I keep carrying around for no reason. Perfect. Where's our... Ah, yes, there it is. I haven't sold my petrified sun-dried Nautilus yet, so that's good. Do you want to lose him? That would be, like, the worst thing in the world, wouldn't it? Okay, so return to planet Barris, is that? Barris 2. Okay, I don't know what happened to Barris 1. Don't ask anyone. It's a very awkward story. Kind Traveller, thank you for your assistance, omnipotent Modivore. Our teachers tell us that we're all going to the, sp the Secret Masters in the future incarnations. Perhaps someday you'll be one too. But whilst you're still attached to the material goods, we'll happily offer you a payment of 80,000 spore bucks. Thank you very much! I'm going to recharge and also trade with you in case you want this stuff. Meh, good enough price. I actually don't care at all about money at this point in the game. We've pretty much got everything. Do we want any of this other stuff? We've already tried the creature tweak, haven't we? I think so. I think there's a creature creator as well. 
Are they two separate things? I, I swear to God, I said I was going to ch check this at some point. I'm like stammering all over the place. I'm so excited. Can we purchase this system? Greetings. Have you got any stuff I want? We'll have your AoE repair, just because that's always useful. Have we got one of those? I thought I bought one of those from our own empire a minute ago. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, that's fine. I don't really have anything else. I'll tell you what I want to do, though. Just as, you know, we're wrapping up all the little things that have happened in the whole series at this point in time. We're going to buy this bloody planet, because this brown empire, I swear to God, they've been messing me around this whole time. One million? That's not going to be enough, is it? They're going to be like, what is this? This is a terrible price. We hope that any future offers will be more of a serious nature. You were cheap. Oh my god, how much money do you want for this planet? It's a bloody Terrascore 2 planet with purp with pink spice. Oh, actually, I suppose that isn't the worst you could get. But still, I don't care. Look how, many sp look how many star systems you have. I helped you expand all this time, brown nation. And you're not even repaying the debt. Well, that's it. I'm breaking up with you. I actually don't know whether I want to break up with them because they're kind of scary. Hell, Captain Modivore, your homeworld of Modestan welcomes you with open arms. You got any missions? I want to expand our empire. It's time to go with war. Okay, I think I've actually done all of the base missions as well, which is making things a bit difficult for us to find things to do. I think we're just going to have to aim towards that wildlife sanctuary. Oh, that's what I was going to do. What am I doing? Oh my god, my brain is all over the place today. I was going to see whether they had that creature creator thing. Now, are they two separate things? There's creature tweaker. We know that for sure. Is it the create? Oh, the create creature. Here it is. The traveler four or cleaner five badge. Cleaner five badge? What the hell is that? Oh, the cleaner badge. Complete five eradication missions to earn the cleaner one badge. Wow, we're really far off of that, aren't we? So that is when basically some creatures on a planet get ill and they have that like yellow smoke around them and you have to go and kill them before they spread the disease around. I always thought that was an eco disaster thing, but maybe these two are linked in some way. And what was the other thing? There was like a, a cleaner five or the traveler four. What is the, tra I swear to God we would have had the traveler four by now, right? I mean, we've got the interstellar badge, whatever that's called. Where is the traveler? Doesn't look like it's anywhere around here. We've got the frequent flyer. Ah, oh, here we go, the Traveller Badge. Contact 75 Empires to earn the Traveller 4 Badge. Right, okay, so let's do that now. I think we've got quite a few that we need to contact. I think it only counts also if they're new nations. So maybe we should go and speak to people if we haven't done so already. Especially if we come across any new star systems that bleep at us, because that's going to mean that there's an empire there that we haven't met yet. Ah, here's one. Now, this shouldn't be too difficult, should it? You'd think. you just got to fly around a little bit, speak to all these different people... Hello, I come in peace, goodbye, and then that's it. You don't even have to say anything more. You're like, you're not one of those awkward family members, like your third cousin or whatever, that comes around every, like, once every year, and they're just always there talking far too much, and you don't care at all. It's not like that at all. You literally say hello, and then you bugger off. That's the best kind of family member. <laughs> I'm such a misery. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, well, let's carry on our little search here. It looks like there's another nation over this way. They're all very unfriendly with us, aren't they? I wonder why. Maybe it's just... I think it is just random how happy or friendly they are with you by default. I think a lot of the nations are just very untrustworthy. Or they don't trust strangers. Some of them, like these people, really love strangers. The Spike Law Empire? Didn't I wipe you out earlier? Okay, well, that's fine. I did wipe them out, and now they're happy. Maybe that was, like, again, their evil cousins near our home base. Maybe these are, like, the, the nice cousins that are all hippie-like and wear hemp clothing. <laughs> I don't think that's... Don't ever wear hemp clothing. Even if you're a hippie, a modern-day hippie should not wear hemp. By all means, smoke hemp. But don't, don't do the wearing of the hemp. The wearing of the hemp. Sounds like some sort of weird trial, doesn't it? Okay, well, unfortunately, it seems like we've got about another 20 or so nations to contact. Might be something more interesting to do off-screen for next time, so then we can start looking into the creature creation. Or even, uh, off-screen, just try and look out for some more uh, eco-disasters that we can prevent. But either way, next time we're going to have a look at some more of the new tools that we haven't tested out yet. And also, anything else that you guys want me to do, or any ideas that I haven't touched upon, which is probably quite likely because I'm a useless human, please put them in a comment in the comment section below because I will read them. As always, thank you for watching, and goodbye. Awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward.